everyone. I'm Alexis Cruz. Liz has the night off. We start tonight with our coverage on the shooting on the campus of a local high school. We are now learning what exactly led up to the chaos outside of Suncoast High School and more about the officer involved as well as the suspect. This is the man facing charges. His name is Delroy Thomas. We'll have his picture for you on your screen in just a moment. This is not his first time he's been in trouble with the law. In fact, he's been arrested five times already this year. Yesterday's incident now making it six times. Here's what deputies say happened. Thomas was walking in the parking lot of the Suncoast High School as students were being dropped off. Riviera Beach police officer Nodane Charisma noticed him and began to follow him. She radioed a school police officer for help, but before that officer could get there, Thomas turned around and began to attack Charisma, which led to shots being fired. According to the police, the school officer saw Thomas turn around and attack Officer Charisma. Charisma pulled her gun and fired. The school says no students or staff were injured and the school was quickly placed under lockdown. CBS 12's Amber Robb has been following the development. She joins us from outside the high school in Riviera Beach with more on the suspect's criminal history. Amber. This is where all of that started yesterday morning. Thomas walked through this gate right here onto school property where he's not allowed to be. And we know what happened after that. Today, we're learning that 29 year old Delroy Clive Thomas has a history of trespassing. And this isn't the first time he's been charged with assaulting a law enforcement officer. A past full of prior convictions. 29-year-old Delroy Clive Thomas has an extensive criminal history dating back to 2013. Robbery, grand theft auto, burglary, drugs, resisting arrest, and that's just for starters. In 2018, while serving time in the Palm Beach County Jail, officers were handcuffing Thomas before moving him when he began resisting, throwing punches and kicking, elbowing one officer in the face. He was charged with battery on a law enforcement officer and resisting an officer with violence, but a judge found him incompetent due to mental illness. Experienced former mental health officer Catherine Torres says it's unfortunate, yeah. but those with mental health issues tend to interact with law enforcement more often. They are definitely much more likely to be involved in criminal behavior. They're not always criminals. A lot of times it results in criminal behavior because they have lack of self-control or they have uh, fantasy things going on in their mind. And since January this year, Thomas has been arrested five more times, all for trespassing. He pled guilty in those cases and did some jail time and last month was sent to a treatment facility. But just 10 days later, he was arrested again. Torres says none of those recent arrests were enough to keep him in custody. He hasn't committed that one crime that says that the public is not safe for him to ever be around. Um, they serve time and they get out. Until yesterday, here at Suncoast, when witnesses say Thomas violently attacked a police officer trying to get him off campus while students were heading to class. Right now, Thomas is facing multiple felony counts related to the attack here Monday morning, and he's expected to have his first court appearance tomorrow. Reporting in Riviera Beach, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.